This basic storybook for kids has generated more than $226,000 in passive income. Today, I will present to you how to launch a similar business. We will start with developing a book concept, writing the story, and crafting high quality illustrations, all while using the power of AI technology. If you wanna make passive income, then stay tuned until the end of this video. I assure you that it will be packed with valuable information that you won't find anywhere else. I stumbled upon this idea while browsing Amazon for potential passive income ideas. That's when I discovered this children's storybook product. At first glance, it may appear to be just an ordinary book, but after conducting some research, I was shocked by the earnings that these sellers made by selling such simple storybooks. For example, this book got 2,705 ratings, and if we multiply that by $11.99, which is the price of the book, we see that the seller made over $32,000 from just that book. Let's check out another one. This book got 17,389 ratings, and if we multiply that by $5.98, we see that the seller made over $103,000 from that book alone. And this seller has earned over $132,000. The craziest part is that you can publish these books completely for free using Amazon KDP. So I had an idea to create a similar book using ChatGPT and then publish it on Amazon to make passive income while sleeping. So I chose to make this video to help as many people as possible to make money with this method. To create a great storybook for kids, you need to start with a good story idea. So I asked the chatbot to help me come up with a great storybook title for kids. The first title it suggested was The Magical Adventures of Sparky the Dragon. That's decent, but I thought we could come up with something more exciting. After a few more tries, it came up with the title Charlie and the Enchanted Zoo, A Tale of Friendship and Adventure. That sounds like a good story that we can use. I then asked the chatbot for more information about the story. It suggested that the book would be perfect for kids between 6 and 10 years old, and that it would be about a young boy named Charlie who visits a zoo with his family and discovers a hidden path that leads him to an enchanted world where the animals can talk and interact with him. I really liked the idea, so I decided to go ahead with it. The next step was to create an outline of the story. The chatbot generated a list of chapters and scenes for each chapter. Chapter 1, A Day at the Zoo. Chapter 2, The Talking Animals. Chapter 3, The Enchanted Zoo's Dangers. Chapter 4, The Villainous Plan. Chapter 5, The Quest for the Magic Crystal, and so on. Now that we have the chapter list, we can start writing the actual story content by using each chapter. To do this, just copy the first chapter, paste it into the chatbot, and set the prompt to write a rhythm story. The chatbot will then generate a story based on the chapter outline. If you don't like the results, you can generate a new story until you are happy with it. I repeated this process for all of the chapters, and within a few minutes, I had a complete story ready to be turned into a book that could earn passive income without having to write anything myself. It's pretty amazing how quickly we came up with the story idea and all the chapters, but there's still something we need to do before we start, and be prepared because it's pretty mind-blowing. Blowing. If you've been enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button. We all know that a great story needs great pictures to go along with it, and hiring an artist to draw those pictures can cost a lot of money, like hundreds to even thousands of dollars. But what if I told you that the pictures you see in front of you now were created using an AI art generator completely for free? Would you believe that? You might have heard of AI art before and the tools used to create it. It's a way to make original pictures just by typing in some words. And that's exactly what I did to finish the first chapter of our story. Story. Let me show you how it works. In the world of AI art generators, there are many options to choose from. In my experience, I started out using Midjourney because it produced the best pictures and it was initially free to use, but that's no longer the case. They got rid of their free trial and you now have to pay for a membership to use it. So I did a little bit of digging to find a free alternative for you and I came across Leonardo.ai. It's recently been making waves in the AI art generator world because it's considered to be just as good as Midjourney and you can use it completely completely for free. You can also upgrade to get more perks if you so choose. The process of signing up is a bit tricky, so I'll quickly walk you through each step to create your account. First, just click the link in the description below this video to get to Leonardo.ai. Once you've done that, the website should look something like this. What you'll do next is click Early Access right here, then submit your email right here and click this button. After that, Click this button here to join Discord. Then click here to accept their invite. If you already have a Discord account, you can then join their server directly. If you don't have a Discord account, just create one, download the application to your computer, and then join the server. 
it's completely free to do. This window will then pop up, which will ask you to select the language or languages that you speak. You can select one or more, or you can choose not to select any at all and just click skip right here. Next, it will ask you what you will do with their AI. You can just select create art and then click next. Then it asks you to acknowledge that Leonardo.ai is a separate web application by checking these two boxes right here. So just go ahead and do that, then click finish right here. You will then be brought into their Discord server and it should look something like this. Next, I want you to scroll down on the left hand side and click here where it says priority early access. After that, scroll up a bit here and click here where it says form, then click yep to be taken to a new web page. You will then want to quickly fill out this information. So under have you joined the Leonardo.ai Discord, select yes. Then add your Discord username, which you can find on the Discord application at the bottom right corner. Then add the email you use to sign up for your Leonardo.ai. Then finally, add your first name and click submit. Now that you've submitted your form, you will then want to go back to Leonardo.ai and click here where it says launch app. Then click this button that says yes, I'm whitelisted. And then click this button here to log into Leonardo.ai. Now, if you used a Gmail account, just click here to sign in with your Gmail account. Otherwise, just put your email info here and click sign in. Now sometimes it can be a little buggy and not register your account, so if that doesn't work, then click sign up right here and add the email you used earlier on Leonardo.ai. And then there you have it. You can now use Leonardo.ai totally for free. You can see all of these images generated by other users every second. This platform is also much cleaner and more organized than Midjourney, which is a plus. To generate your own image, you need to start with a prompt. To do that, Click right here where it says AI image generation, and then right here is where you can type in your prompt to explain what kind of image you want to create. Head back over to the story chapters you've generated before and copy the first one. In my case, it was Charlie and his family visit the local zoo. Paste the text in the prompt section here and then type comma kids storybook so it knows what kind of art style to use, then click generate. Wait for the image to be generated. A row of images will appear. Now one thing I want to mention is that the free version of Leonardo.ai allows you to generate 150 images, but then it resets every 8 hours. So in order to get the most out of the free version, I recommend you select 1 under the number of images it generates per prompt so you can get as many images to use for your storybook as possible. So you can see here the four images it generated for us. So just pick your favorite and download it by clicking the download image button right here, which will open a new page. Then right click this image and click save image as. If you'd like to add any edits to the image, like erasing certain things and whatnot, just click this button here that says edit in canvas, which will take you to this page. So now let's say you want to create a new image with the same character as your first image. Here's a simple trick. If the character or characters in your storybook don't have names, create ones for them. My character already has a name, which is Charlie. After that, you will want to write what your character is and how old they are if necessary. So to specify what my character is, I'll make it clear that he is a human child by writing Charlie, the human 10 year old boy at the beginning of each of my prompts. So let's create the second image of the chapter. Charlie discovers a hidden path and enters the enchanted zoo. Copy this, paste it into the prompt, then remember to specify exactly what your character is. So I'll add Charlie, the human 10 year old boy, then the rest of my prompt, which is discovers a hidden path and enters the enchanted zoo. And remember to always have kids storybook at the end. So this is what our second image looks like. So I repeated this process for all the images I wanted to generate, and I got all of my illustrations ready to use in about 30 minutes. I won't go through the process for all the chapters because it will take too long, but I hope you understand how it works. Just approach each section at a time and create the images based on your topic. Once we have all of our images generated, next I'll show you how to make a professional looking storybook by combining the text generated by ChatGPT and the images generated by Leonardo.ai. First, go to canva.com and type storybook and click enter. Then. Create a blank storybook by clicking here and upload the AI generated images into it. You can drag and drop your first image into the template. After that, go to ChatGPT and copy the first part of your story. Paste it on top of your image and adjust the text as you like by changing the color, font style, adding shadows, and more. When you finish, duplicate the template so you can add the new image while keeping the same style. Repeat the same process for all the chapters in your book. Finally, save your book as a PDF. And there you have it. 
you've just created your very own storybook. Now, there's just one more step you need to take to start earning passive income, which is publishing your book on Amazon. I won't be able to explain the whole process here because it's quite long, but there are tons of YouTube tutorials that you can look up that show you exactly how you can do this. To quickly recap, here are the steps you need to follow. Use ChatGPT to generate your story idea. Create your story outline and chapters. Use the Leonardo.ai art generator to create illustrations. Add the story text to the images using Canva and save as a PDF for printing. Upload your storybook to Amazon KDP. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.